there is a big query which uh, people ask concerning the Antichrist. Uh, many people ask, will the Antichrist be gay? Will he be um, a homosexual? You see, there, in a passage that many Bible interpreters uh, understand to be double prophecy uh, about uh, a guy called uh, Antiochus Epiphanes, uh, Daniel the prophet uh, says something, okay? He says something here and I want us to check. He says in uh, 1137 Daniel, Neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, mm -hmm. nor regard any God, for he, has, uh, for he shall magnify himself above all. Now, when you look at that, we can uh, be mixed up. Will the Antichrist be gay? Because the Bible is saying uh, here that uh, he loved no desire of women. What will happen? And... Uh, First, we have to understand and ask ourselves, desire, he will show no regard of the gods of his fathers uh, or the desire of women. Mm -hmm. Now, looking at that, we first have to check what, what, what the word desire means. Desire is, uh, just according to normal uh, dictionaries, uh, it says, is a strong feeling of wanting or to have something or wishing for something to happen. So it's like you're wanting so much, uh, a strong feeling for, uh, for for wanting to have something. So for wanting to have women, you see, things like that. Or wishing to something to happen. So it's, it's like you want or you wish. It's a strong wish or want. So that's, that's what we call a desire. Okay. So now, when you look at this, Bible verse, he sh neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself above all. Now, the fact that uh, the Antichrist will show no regard for, that is uh, the desire of women, leads uh, some people to believe that the Antichrist will be a homosexual or a gay. Then a uh, the Bible, the question is what is meant by, the question, just looking generally, what, what, what is meant by the word, the desire of women? We have just checked. It is basically referring to a desire or a liking or a, 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 like we have read, let me just go back here again, or a, a, a strong wish for something. Now, there's a possible translation of the Hebrew text. If uh, a desire of women is a proper understanding, then the Antichrist forsaking of it could be an indication that he will be a gay or a homosexual. But if the, 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 the desire will be meaning probably something that women desire, what, what do women desire? Women desire probably, you know, family, shopping, travel, you know, cooking. These are things that women desire. Could it be meaning that something that women desire? Could it be meaning that? Because if it would be meaning something that women desire, then that could point a different direction. Of course, uh, um, uh, the King James, I, I'm a King James Bible believer, and King James just says exactly it is the desire of women. But of course, uh, these other versions of the Bible, some of them, like uh, the NIV and the ESV, they translate the face for, for, and say something different. Let me let me just show you. Uh, let me just show you this. Uh, Daniel eleven thirty seven. Eleven. Uh, 37 J just see what these other bible verses they do and that's why it's very important to go with the king james because you'll be able to be confused see he will show no regard of the gods of his ancestors or for the one desired by women you see these are the bible versions they change and make it now it is the women desiring him instead of him desiring the women you you see you, you see wh why it's really important to Always do King James because uh, sometimes most of these things they 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 they'll confuse. 
okay they'll confuse you let's let's just go back to the king james so that we can be able to understand this uh, story very well the desire of women he will not have it so having seen that and i've understood that this if really what it means it means is what the dictionary here is telling us a strong feeling for women it will basically mean that this guy will be a homosexual that's that's exactly what uh, it's saying but if it's something which women desire then the whole essence or the whole story will have to change but uh, it will all depend with how you interpret this word the desire of women and uh, you can be able to understand but this is something that the bible is uh, putting out clearly there so uh, probably he will uh, be launching uh, you know all these um, uh, things to do with um, kind of changing the way god has put things to be like a man for a woman a woman for a man and uh, you you see like the agendas which are happening right now so if that is the case then uh, the antichrist it may be possible that he will not want this kind of union to be there he will want to make you know a man to a man or a woman to a woman and things like that and uh, you can even see from the agendas which is happening in the world right now and you can tell that the antichrist is about to show up because this desire which is natural of god Whereby you find a woman, a man desires a woman, then that's that's godly. But the Antichrist will come and bring confusion. Confusion. And of course we know who the author of confusion is. The author of confusion is basically Satan. So he will uh, bring a lot of confusion on the same. So we have to watch on those angles and be able to understand so that uh, we can also not... Uh, we can also be able to see his characters and n notice him as he's, he's, he's coming in. The, uh, but of course, the good thing about Christians is that uh, we will be gone. Immediately is revealed, as is written in uh, 2 Thessalonians uh, chapter 2, immediately the Antichrist is revealed, we are gone. And of course, we are seeing uh, a lot of stories, uh, some people saying, mm, probably there's a guy who was revealed in Israel uh, <laughs> on March 27th, 2021. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're just in that point. Let's, let's keep on watching. And also, just to throw something there as we finish up, there's something that, uh, but he's in a state, he shall honor the God of forces, God of forces. Now, have you heard about the new age? You know, new age is like you're pulling something, calling things into existence and uh, this kind of things. Uh, you know, it's, it's like you believe evolution, gravity, things come up. No, he will be so much on those kind of things. He'll uh, honor the God of forces and a God whom his fathers knew not. So he will honor that new God with gold and silver and precious stones and things like that. So this is a new God. The God of forces has not been there even in the time immemorial. So the, the new age is a, it's a new thing which uh, nobody really understands. So he'll be very prone on the new age and um, uh, teaching that and believing in those kind of things. So if you're a new age person, you know, those... Um, uh, the, 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 we call them yoga, you know, all those kind of things will more so come with the, you know, it will, it's, it's an agenda of the Antichrist and you should stay away from it. So we've been able just to go and check out uh, generally. Hope uh, it's been a blessing to you. So if you're not saved out there, I always like to give the gospel so that uh, for those who have not had the gospel, the gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It's all about how that Christ died for our sins, he was buried and rose again as it's written in the scriptures. If you believe that, then uh, you're saved. And uh, you don't have to think about the Antichrist so much and uh, what you'll be doing. So don't worry about all that, okay? So God bless you. Have a blessed time. Please subscribe and uh, also share the video so that others can be able to hear the word of truth and be able to be saved.